Welcome. This is Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. As you can tell, we are doing part two tonight. This is our agenda for lesson seven, September 2014. Our goal is to make sure that we can get our lesson ready for Wednesday. But before we start, let's do a little quote. Hocus pocus, abracadabra, I command my homework to do itself homework. Be done! Flip, 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 flip. Rats. Well, it doesn't work that way, so let's get started by making sure you understand what Math Lesson 1.7 is all about. And I'm going to give a warm-up. We're going to go through a quick video and the assignment that you'll be turning in. I'll review what you'll expect to happen in class on Wednesday. If there is any point in the video where you need to pause, rewind, go ahead and do that. Math Lesson 1.7. In Math Lesson 1.7, we want to multiply and divide with 10. Explore patterns in tens count bys, multiplications, and divisions. Represent and solve problems involving multiplication and division with numeral 10. We're going to model first of all, and by modeling I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to pull up the math board, and with the math board I'm also going to pull up and we're going to count by tens. So we have one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. I'm going to stop at five tens, and we have one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, and five tens. But we know we represent tens by putting a zero at the end. We have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. Say them with me. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50. And you can go all the way up to 100. Did you notice as we are doing that, most of the tens end with a ty ending. So 20, 30, 40, 50. Just, just something you might notice. We're going to write the multiplication for each count by. 1 times 10 equals 10. There's my 1 times 10. Now let's try 2 times 10. 2 times 10 equals 20. 3 times 10 equals 20. 30. What is 4 times 10? Correct, it's 40. 5 times 10, what does that equal? 50. You guys are all smart. Okay, well let's put them in order so you can see some other patterns. If we put one on top, 2, 3, 4, what do you notice? Notice there's some patterns there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe you can see some other patterns and you can discuss that within your group tomorrow as we go through the lesson. So you might see some other patterns. I'll let you uh, discuss that with your neighbors tomorrow during our group work. Now I'm going to show you how to solve 1 or 3 times 10. I'm going to go ahead and take my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to line them up and you notice there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. And we can actually put that together, but we want to put it into three groups. 1, 2, 3. Now to check our answer, I'm going to type in here what I think might be the right answer. 3, 0. We multiply. Well, it's going to regroup for us. Watch those 1. What happens? Regroup. It becomes a 10. And we're going to check our answer. Woohoo! Celebrate. We got it right. We need to find this answer. 60 equals something times 10. We're going to hide this area so you can see if you can figure it out. We're going to put these tens out. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we take those 60, and we have each of the one of those sticks equals 10. How many sticks do we have? This is your first ant question on your assignment. Number one on tonight's assignment is 60 equals something times 10. We're going to apply. Write an equation and solve the problem. A roll of ribbon has 60 inches of ribbon. Harper cut all the ribbon into 10 equal pieces. I'm going to help you on this and we're going to pretend that this ruler is 60 inches long. See that 6? We're going to make the ribbon exactly 6 inches, 60 inches long. You have to write an equation that shows how many inches long is each piece. So to understand, you understand that there are 60 inches of ribbon. Harper cut it into 10 equal lengths. This is something new. This is called the puzzled penguin. Is he correct? Yes or no? This is your third question on your assignment tonight. Is he correct? Today my teacher asked me to write a word problem that can be solved using the division 40 divided by 10. Here's the problem I wrote. Kim has 40 apples and put four apples in each bag. How many bags did Kim use? Is he correct? Be ready to discuss what Puzzle Penguin did. If he did it correct, you would say yes. If yes, create a similar problem. If no, what should be corrected? 
to make it a correct statement? We'll discuss those three answers in class tomorrow. We're now going to go to the video. There's a couple questions we're going to answer. See those uh, cubes? We're going to be using those tomorrow. Our friends from the last video, they're helping us create these. Okay, count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See, what we're doing is we're stacking these, and we're going to pause right there, and you can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Each of them should have 10, and they do. We're going to take this really quick quiz. This is question number four. How many blocks are in these two stacks? I'm going to put zero, but you need to put the correct answer. Next. What is two times ten? I'm going to put zero again. You need to put the correct answer. So this is question number five. Question number six. What is twenty blocks divided by ten blocks in a stack? Your hint is how many stacks are there? Moving on. Let's add some more. Remember to count by tens. You might want to pause the video there, or you can count how many stacks there are. Next quiz. This is number seven on your assignment. Multiply these nine columns by ten. How many cubes have been used? You put the correct answer. Question number eight. What is nine times ten? Okay. These guys are going to organize it a little bit better, but you can see it in upward view, side view, and they're going to be industrious. And look how nice they put it in. Question number nine. If we counted all of the blocks, we would find 90 blocks. What is 90 blocks divided by 9 stacks? Write your answer. And question number 10 on your homework. What is 90 divided by 10? Put your correct answer on number 10. There's no ending to that, so now we can go back and see the rest of our assignment. We're going to go to the very bottom, what to expect tomorrow. First of all, we're going to come in and we're going to correct those 10 questions that are going to be written on your in your notebook, your green notebook, and that's our homework notebook. We're going to discuss especially the problem with Puzzled Penguin, whether he got it correct or not. After which, we'll do an activity, and then we're going to do a homework and remembering page. And I'm going to show you that right now. The homework and remembering page is these two pages, homework and remembering. We'll be doing that in class. And for those that would like a challenge, here is a home or school activity. And I'll let you read that. Pause it and read it. It's using Latin terms to describe things that we use in math. Here's another one that you can do, a social studies connection. The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell, and the part that they want you to see is this array. See right there? That's an array. See if you can find some other ways to make real-world arrays. And last, underneath the video, see here's where the video is going to be going, there is a list of resources. There are two applications that allow you to go online. Please let me know if you cannot or if the links do not work but there are two games that you can play. There is some other things you can be doing tonight. You can be practicing your tens times tables. You can mix it up and you can even use your division. So that's all I have tonight. We'll see you again on Wednesday night with a new lesson. Good night.